Do you need to fade out a photo? And the old way to do it is sit there and get a square, add some gradients, change the transparency within the gradients to try to get the effect you want of it fading out. Well, now I have a new solution for you. So let me show you how. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this old square. We don't need to do nothing with the square. What we're gonna do is cut over to our apps. I'm going into my apps and I'm gonna look for easy reflection. It's the one with the tennis shoe. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab that real quick and I'm gonna to wanna to create a reflection. So you're gonna pick the size that you want to fade out on and you're gonna look and see which way is it left, right, and then what you want to do is take the opacity all the way up to the 100 so you can still see that part of the photo. And then you're just going to change your offset how far you want it to come in. You can go real hard, but then you're going to start getting the fading into the flowers right here. So we're going to just turn it down just a smidge. And then I'm going to add it to the design. And then what I want to do is I'm going to take the original and then I'm going to flip this. And now I have my photo easy peasy breezy going right into my background so now let's go into my elements i'm going to go in my recently used and i'm going to grab her so what i want to do is fade her into the bottom she's already on a white background so that part is not an issue but i want her to fade into the bottom instead of that hard edge right there so i'm going to go back into my apps i'm going to go find my tennis shoe the easy reflections I'm going to create a reflection, the opacity all the way up, and then I'm going to take the offset. Hold on, I don't want it above, so make sure you you got your where you want your fade to go in. So below, bottom, I I've done it on the out, outer side too with her. So we'll go all the way up, and then I want to take my offset about midway. I want to make sure that's very blended looking right there. So I'm going to add that to the design where when I get it where I like it, I can go up here. And flip, flip. Oh, let's flip her the other way. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I got her. She's going to get dizzy. So I'm going to move her and make it the original smaller. And then we're going to make the new one bigger. And there she is faded into the bottom. And as you can see, if I go and change the background color to any color, she's going to fade into the color that you are using. So uh, that is a easy way without having to go and get a square and then try to do it. It just puts, it takes that hard edge off of there for you at the bottom. And like one, if you're doing a whole picture like this, it takes it, it does good. So if I took this and added this to a new page, like so, let's go here. And I wanted to make this the whole page. That's a, that's an awesome fade into the color. Beautiful fade into the color and very easy to do versus trying to get your gradients right and using a square and getting your gradients right. This is really easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, just be forewarned. So let's go, if you wanted to take the offset all the way up, let's add that to the design. I'm gonna flip her the, the old school way with the little thing. You're gonna get more transparency higher up. So just be careful but you just don't want to go too high, especially if you're using like somebody's face. You can see that pink coming up way, way, way high up here. So if we go back to white, she's kind of faded. So that's why you want to be careful with your offset a little bit because you don't, unless you want that faded look, then that's fine. But otherwise, that's how you do that. Easy peasy. Know how, figuring out how many gradients, how much of the transparency in each color to do. Easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just use the Easy Reflections app. So that's it for me. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.